Mercedes managed to overcome their early season issues and were more competitive towards the end of 2022 but an F1 pundit isn't sure they are out of the woods just yet. F1 analyst Karun Chanhok has predicted more problems for Mercedes with another change set to be implemented next season. After taking most of the 2022 season to find solutions to porpoising among other issues, the Silver Arrows may be set for another challenge to overcome in 2023. The FIA has made a change with ride height rules, something Mercedes has previously not done on its cars. The purpose is to reduce teams' ability to run the edge of the floor closer to the surface of the track and lead to better aero performance. The initial increase was set to be 25 mm but was switched to 15 mm due to a backlash from some of the teams. This means the wheels have more vertical room to travel and absorb road shocks and having never previously done this before, Chanhok think this change could have a negative effect on Toto Wolff and his men. There's a regulation change next year, which is small but not insignificant in terms of the right height and the cars have all got to run at a higher ride height, he said on Sky Sports end of season review. Which is the one team historically that hasn't run at a high ride height? The brain power that won all those world championships is still there in Brackley and Bricksworth. But I don't think it's as easy to fix yet as you might think. Red Bull's Christian Horner believes Mercedes' failure to cement a title challenge in 2022 could be down to the after effects of their epic 2021 clash, which Max Verstappen controversially won over Lewis Hamilton. Mercedes won just the one race in the entire campaign, courtesy of George Russell in Brazil, and in Horner's view, it was a Silver Arrow squad hungover from the prior season. Asked by GP fans if he predicted the campaign that unfolded, Horner said, you would never have believed it, I think that especially off the back of last year, that took so much energy, last year's championship, and you could see Mercedes had a hangover from that this year. I am just incredibly proud of the whole team, how it raised the bar again and came back fighting, adapting to the regulations, and being strategically sharp, we were on it when we needed to be and both drivers played their part with some massive victories. It was the first time they didn't have a dominant car, so to be able to beat them last year and to beat them again this year has been an incredible performance.